new EBU's Lip Tray. What's a Lip Tray? Well, Simply is an experiment in fun and it's designed to help you find your best you of red or magenta for you to wear as a lipstick color. You don't have to do all the work. We've done it for you. By playing this game, it's going to give you a lot of good clues to help you find your perfect red. So, who are you? So you have your lip drape. This is what comes in it. You will have nine colors to test and you're also going to have a lip treatment for when you're all done your lips will thank you. Next you're going to have a pinch test and then lastly you're going to have an instructional handout but for those that don't like to read this is why we're doing this. Pinch! So this is how you do your pinch test. You'll have two sheets here. The first sheet is your reds and these are your power colors. This is palette A. The second sheet is your magenta colors and this is palette B. You're going to receive four ambition colors and one creative. Now you're going to take your finger and you're going to get a nice pinch out of it. You do so by taking your thumb, sliding it down toward the tip of your finger where your nail is and just press. Next step is you're going to take your card. Once you have a nice trapped flow of blood, you're going to match your fingertip to each one of the hues. So as I do so on this first one, I'm finding it and on this first little section here that I feel that that's a little too warm for my blood type. So then I'm going to go to this one, and I think that one looks kind of nice. So I'm going to remember that. I'm going to get a nice little fresh pinch now. I'm going to go to my next little section. And I'm going to line that up and take a good look at that. And I think that in my, in my uh, trapped blood flow there that my blood might be a little bit cooler than that. So now I'm going to move up to this one. I'm just going to get a nice little fresh pinch. And I think that that looks really nice. I think that's a good fit. So I'm going to make this my number one. And I think I'm going to make this one my number two because I'm kind of intrigued by that. As you see, there's a number underneath this. So I'm going to take a minute now. I'm going to jot down on a piece of paper what this code is and what this code is and write those down as my first and my second choice in my palette A. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for palette B. So I'm going to go ahead and get a hold of my card. And I'm going to do another pinch test on my finger. I'm going to line this up. And I don't think that's bad. That it's kind of pretty. Kind of like that. I'm going to go to the next one. And I think that my finger has way too much red in it to be a good fit for that one. I'm going to go ahead and do this one here. And again, I don't think this is bad. But I think my finger has a little bit more red in it. And I'm going to go to this one. And this one I feel like that my finger has a little bit more coolness to it, actually. It's a little tiny bit bluer. I'm going to get a little fresh squeeze there. I'm going to go to this one. And this one's really intriguing. I think I really like this one a lot. So, when I look at all of these, I'm just going to bring this down here a little bit one more time for you. The two that really jump out at me is this one. There's something about this that I really like. And I also really, really like this one. So I would say he's my first choice. And this little buddy down here is my second. So I'm going to write these down. So here are my first results for the pinch test. I have my palette A, which are my power colors and my palette B, which are my ambition and creative colors. So now that you're done, let's go to step two. We're going to start with our red, our power colors. You will receive a little white palette spatula, and you are going to make a stripe on your arm with that spatula. You want to be able to see the skin through each stripe. Then be sure 
to clean your spatula off in between and go to your next color. So here's your next one. You will do that for each color. Okay, so this is palette A, and we have a collection of four different reds, and as you can see, they're all reds, but they're slightly different in color. The first one, that one looks really nice. It's, it hasn't changed. It's pretty much staying the same, and that's what you want to see. The second one actually changed. It looked pretty good at first, and then it keeps getting warmer. And the second one, I mean this third one, this one's really nice too. It's a little too cool for me, but I don't hate it. And then this last one, this one is clearly too warm for me. This one gives me a fright, to be honest with you. So, I am going to jot down my first one and my third one. So this is palette B, and these are your ambition and your creative colors. So we have five colors this time. So this one looks really nice. It's rich, it's staying very clear, so I like this one. This one actually feels a little bit too warm for me. And I feel like my skin is fading away. It's getting a little bit pulled. This one here is really jumping out, so this would not be a good fit for me. And this one right here it looks too deep. It's making my skin look really dull. And this one, I really like. He is bold, he's different, but there's something about this one that I really like. I feel he's very clear, and I think that he is very clear. So if I'm looking for something a little different, and it looks less red, so definitely much more of the magenta, I'm really intrigued with him. So I'm gonna make him my number one, and I'm gonna make him my number two because I think he's really lovely as well. And I think that I should embrace him and find out a little bit more about him. Okay, so here are my results. And this side over here, this shows my pinch test results. And this is my swatch test results on my arm. So in the pinch test and the swatch test, on the first palette, A, I had the same exact results. So my, my choice one and my choice two are exactly the same. On palette B, my choice one and two reversed in my swatch test. But what the cool thing is is that it's exactly the same colors, just the reverse ones. So I am now going to try on my favorites. Now when you're doing this, you may have more than just one and two. You might have your third favorite and your fourth favorite. I encourage you to try all of those. I'm going to show you my favorite one. Okay, so here's my results. This is in palette B. It's my ambition color. On my pinch test, it was my number one. On my arm swatch test, it was my number two. Both my number one and my number two options looked great on me. This one's just more natural. So now it's time to go to the do not peek area of our website so you can find out more about the results you have found. So this is Blake taking over for Darren. Uh, I'm going to be talking about how to use the Do Not Peak website. So as you can see, when you first go to it, you're going to see the code that is on your swatches and also on the lip drape color. You can use this code to see what that product corresponds to, as well as some suggestions if you were looking for something maybe a little brighter or softer uh, on your favorites. You can then click on the option provide it and it's going to send you to the palette that we suggest if you want a little bit of a different take and you can do the tester size or the actual size. Um, so the other thing that you can do is as you can see it has the family and the genus on each product. Um, well you can if you really like the product itself you can just go immediately to the product and buy it and that's pretty simple and you'll know it looks good on you because you liked it if that was something that you enjoyed and you thought was perfect. Uh, th lastly, one of the cool things that we have in our website is you can search by the code. 
So for example, if you really like the red uh, of the power color that you tried, you can just search P14, and those are going to give you the results that are similar to the Embrace Me Baby, but uh, it gives you the options for each individual one. So you can see you go to P14, and it's going to pull up not just lipsticks, but all kinds of different colors uh, throughout our website that have that code. As you can see, there's Embrace Me Baby, and um, obviously you can look at the information on the website as well. So this is also the more specific color, and this is going to yield results that are very similar to the color, as in almost exactly the same. So you can see there's two different lipsticks, and then Metropolitan is a lip gloss. And again, just showing that um, these are going to give you only winters in that group. So it's going to be very specific, and you're going to see the colors that you want without having to really work very hard or call us for what other colors are similar to it. And this is just one of the many um, codes that you can use. So anyway, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, obviously you can feel free to ask us. Um, but you're really going to want to use the Do Not Peak website to find out more information on the colors you've tried, where they lay, where their genus is, and just uh, specifics on what to try if it didn't quite work for you, or if it did work for you, what to find in uh, regards to the colors that you're going to like as well. I hope that helps, and um, if you have any questions, you can always send us an email or call us. Thank you.